Hey y'all, welcome to Wild Blue. Let's take a look at all the crazy things that are going on that I've gathered up over this last week. First up, we got a UFO sighting in Moscow, May of 2023. So this month, let's check this out, see what we got here. Got what appears to be a light colored triangle hovering there. It's like the opposite of your black triangle. It ain't moving or nothing, it's just sitting there. You don't know what it's going to do there, it's just kind of hovering. Looks like a Dorito chip maybe, then you got something else flying. I think that may have been just some kind of bug and birds or something flying around. It ain't the UFO that we're focusing on here. It's something else. And so we don't know what this thing is. We don't know where it's going or where it's been or where it ends up going after this video. All we see is just sitting there. Definitely unidentified. Certainly a strange shape reminiscent of your black triangles. Except for the fact that it's more of a light. A light triangle. That may be something new that's got to be coming out of this. But uh, I think that's all we got going off of what we see here in this video. Let's take a look at our next sight in here. The UFO sighting of our Cartagena. Cartagena, Colombia, May of 2023. We got here some kind of lights. Two orange lights just kind of ho hovering there over the city. Got a whole crew of bikers. Man, all these bikers sitting there watching it. A mass UFO sight in here. They're all seeing it. This ain't just one guy out there. You got the two lights there. Like two giant eyes staring at him. Two balls of fire floating there in the sky. What the heck is this? What in the world is that? I don't really know for sure. It ain't moving either, just like the last one, just hovering there. Could be anything, really. It could be a weather balloon, or it could be, you know, some other sort of earthly craft. You just don't really know. Nothing particularly stands out as being alien about it, other than that it's glowing there and not moving. But, you know, plenty of things glow and don't move up in the sky. I've seen those things myself, and I wouldn't necessarily jump to saying they're extraterrestrial in origin but this is certainly something interesting it doesn't really line up with any sort of aircraft we know of so it may be an aircraft that we don't know of next up we got a UFO sight in Cancun 2023 here in Mexico let's take a look at it gotta start off with the ear there there it is a light shining there over the beach disrupting your beautiful day at the resort there in Cancun Seeing this thing flying around. Well, they ain't flying around, just sitting there. Got a bunch of lazy UFOs this week. They're not doing nothing, they're just hovering there. And what is it? I don't really know. Like the others, it doesn't have any sort of discernible features to it. Any sort of movement or characteristics that would lead you to believe it's something either of this world or of another one. It's just sitting there, but it's gathering enough attention to people that they're recording it. At least this guy, there's a couple other people down there just minding their own business. Let's go ahead and skip to a later port point in this video and see if it does anything more interesting. You know what? I don't think it does. We're going to skip on to the next one here. So this one's called Strange Phenomenon, Sky Objects, Unexplained Sightings, Portals, or UFOs. Now, the topic of portals is coming up more and more lately. I'm thinking that's something we're going to be seeing a lot of here. Portals to other dimensions. Maybe we've opened them, or maybe they've opened into our plane of existence. We don't really know, but we'll get on into this video and see, see if we can decide whether or not these are portals or something else. Oh, we got some music here, too. Definitely set the stage here for what we're going to see. But I'm going to turn that down, because... It's going to distract from what this video is. Now we just got this sort of shadow there. I guess that's a cloud there at the bottom. That would be my guess. Yeah, just sort of a round cloud. Continue skipping through this video and see what shows up. So it would seem that we've been mizzled into thinking this was some kind of UFO when in reality it's just a cloud. But here we are, we watched it and now we're stuck with it. Let's look what we got here. This one looks pretty interesting called Extraterrestrial Life Sight in Oslo, Norway, May of 2023. It's like a giant bug-like creature here. It's making sounds and moving around in a strange manner. Turns out the eyes are there on the front of the head rather than the side, which is what I initially thought. 
It's got some really long, spindly arms. Very praying mantis-like. It almost looks like an animatronic from a ride at like Disney World or something. Must have escaped and ended up in this little stone patch here in Norway. It's making some weird sounds. Some strange sort of movements there. It does have some interesting sort of characteristics. Got that elongated skull lines up with some of the sightings of elongated skulls found in Peru and the South America in ancient ruins. But my guess would be this is a CGI creation to mizzle us again into thinking this is something that's real. Now this one's called Caught a Black Orb and a White Streak While Recording in My Friend's Haunted House. So his friend has a, a haunted house that apparently is known to be haunted. And he's just sitting here recording. I don't know. I don't know if he's had some sort of experience before that led him to record, or he just decided he wanted he was gonna pull his phone out and record. There goes the orb. And where's the white streak? I refocus here. Where is it? Now the question is, did he see these things as it was happening? Or is it something that just appeared there and that he noticed after the fact? Well, I didn't see anything other than the black spot. Maybe also the white streak. I may have seen something there, but it was really moved by so quick, I couldn't really tell for sure. Now, spirits are definitely known to manifest themselves in a variety of ways, which includes both orbs and streaks of light. But definitely don't see the black orbs very much. Usually they're light orbs. They only appear after the fact from videos and photos. Let's see what we got here. This one looks pretty interesting. Cryptid stalking a moose in Quebec. Now this one's from April. Let's take a look at it and see what we got here. We got this thing moving real quick. It's a crawler it looks like. Go head over to Reddit crawlers subreddit and see, see what these crawlers are for yourself. Yeah, it's definitely looking at this moose, and you know something that's gonna take on a moose has to be pretty pretty bold indeed to think it's gonna do something. These moose are gigantic. You know, if you've never seen a moose up close, you know, count your lucky stars if you weren't, you know, separated with a fence or something, because you know, those moose will stomp right over you. They're so gigantic, so huge and unavoidable. If you run into one, you better pray that they're not gonna attack you and show their aggression towards you. Especially a bull moose because they got them big antlers and they're gonna whack you with them and ain't gonna feel very good. Now this one's interesting here. It's from October of last year, 2022. Invisible entity tries to snatch items from a little girl. Now, I've seen some stuff like this before on other sort of captured video from baby monitors and whatnot and that's kind of like what we got here I believe. Let's take a look at it. She's walking through the kitchen. Seems to see something there that we can't see. She's conversing with it, apparently. And then it tries to take her little snacks there. She ain't having it, though. She wants those snacks for herself. She's not going to share with her imaginary friend there, which appears to be not so imaginary if it's... Well, now it's wants her toy there, and she ain't giving that up either. And she heads off. And the thing is, you know, she doesn't seem freaked out. You know, if you know someone saw this, like an adult saw this occur, and they would be freaking out. They'd probably run out of the house never to return but you know this little girl here doesn't have the same sort of fear associated with the unknown and spirits that most people do here so she wasn't too scared of it and in fact maybe she should have been this one's pretty interesting so after a storm of april of 2023 in arkansas you can see three angelic looking beings floating in the clouds let's take a look at it and see what we got here zooming in here Got the trucks down there. Now let's see what's up in the clouds that's captured these people's attention. I'm not seeing nothing yet. Got the arrows there to point out what we got. And these things are dark. It's actually kind of terrifying. Usually when you see something that's supposed to be angelic, it's gonna be a light being. And what we got here are dark beings. Let's check this out. Next one is from August of 2022. Sasquatch spotted behind a tree. Let's see what we got here. This guy's out in the woods filming. He sees. There he goes real quick. You waiting for him to come around the other side? And he doesn't. Let's watch it again. He zooms in. 
Maybe he heard this thing that caused him to bring his camera out, and boom, he jumps over there, probably over a log, and flies behind some other trees. Looked to be bipedal, but whether or not it was a Sasquatch, really difficult to tell, you know. Can't get a good glimpse of it for more than half a second. It's so far away and moves so quickly, it's such a blur. Would fit your definition of a blob squatch, if I do say so myself. But you know, maybe it was. You know, could have been the guy's friend though in a costume or some kind of animal moving so quick like that. But, you know, there you have it. Alright, next up, we got this one looks pretty interesting here. This one's called Real Giant Caught on Video in Mexico. The video is from August of 2022 as well. A lot of strange things happening then, I guess. Let's check this out. You know, we got this cave entrance here. We got the big guy, double ugly monster standing there looking around. Now what is this thing? Now it's hard to know for sure how giant he actually is since you don't have any sort of frame of reference to tell whether or not he's a big or a regular size, you know, human being. He looks out and goes back into his cave there. These people are just watching from a pretty good distance away. There he is again, slinking back into his hole where he belongs, I would say so. No one wants to look at him. I'd like to see him again just to verify whether he's real or not. Now there's a lot of sightings of giants over the years in Mexico, South America. The whole region of southern Argentina is known as Patagonia, named after giants supposedly encountered by Magellan back in the day during his voyage around the world in which he didn't complete. That was one of the places him and his crew stopped, claimed to have met these giants that were twice the size of them, though there's no verifiable evidence to prove that that's true. The guy that they brought with them to try and prove to the world that they existed didn't quite make it through the journey just as Magellan didn't. So there's no evidence to show what they saw was real. But anyway, we got that giant footage there. Maybe he had red hair. You know, a lot of giants, they say, have this red hair. And two rows of teeth is another common theme. You'll look at some of the work done by L.A. Marzulli and some of his research. That is a recurring theme throughout all sorts of encounters and ancient inscriptions and all sorts of other sightings of these things is that they have these features that distinguish them from human beings. All right, so this last one here is one said to me by my brother. I don't know what it is, so we don't know what we're getting ourselves into with this. Well, let's check it out. All right, let's watch till the end. It says, don't chase things in the woods. Let's see what we got here. These people apparently think they're being hunted. You got the guy walking through the field there. It's all in Spanish. This guy's translating for us. I went camping with some friends, and we noticed that a person started following us. During the night, we felt being watched and heard noises. It starts with us. one person, but we see a bunch there. The next day at camp, we saw their tracks, and we were missing things. So apparently, these guys came into their field, their campsite, camp and took stuff. To follow the person mm -hmm. and retrieve our things. The person stopped the at this point. We they're after him. They gonna get him? Change the vision of the drone to see the person. Let's see what and we this got here. What happened? It's a deer. Did he steal their camp stuff? Did he steal their camp stuff? How is he walking like that? Like a person, but he was a deer. You know? How did this all work out? So this video is going viral in Mexico. Because you see him walking there like a person. My, my, the tables have turned here. Usually, you got the deer being hunted by the people, but it looks like this time the hunted was the person rather than the deer. The person stopped at this point. Did he transform? I think that's the question here. Did he transform from a deer into a person and back to a deer to disguise himself? There you have it. The funny thing is, he's watching that camera too. What's going on here? Definitely some strange things out there in the world. So I think we're going to call it here. I'm still not sure what to make of that last video, but there you have it. If you like it, like and subscribe. Check out our website and check out our Facebook page. And with that said, Wild Blue out.